This is what nematode damage looks like. This is a pak choy that just got pulled from the garden. It was failing to thrive, and so my daughter pulled it up. You see all those knots? Sometimes if you see this sort of thing on beans, you might think, oh, those are the nitrogen-fixing nodules, but they're not. This is root knot nematodes. This is a really bad case here. Now, generally, if you see this in your soil, you've got a couple of options. You can starve the area by tilling the ground a few times and just letting it go bare. You can cover the area with plastic and let the sun bake it for a month or two. Or you can plant a crop that is not susceptible to nematodes. Uh, corn is usually pretty good. Mustards are said to be pretty good, though this is in the mustard family, so go figure. But um, also adding enough organic matter will help if you can get some good organic matter in the soil. Or if you have something like a tomato that's failing to thrive and looks bad, you can hill it up and at least give it a little more dirt around the stem. Nematodes are your enemy.